I love shoes. Shoes are a, a very important fashion accessory. I like shoes. You love them. People, people can go a bit further, though. People can sort of fall in love with shoes, which is odd to fall in love with shoes, because, you know what I mean, they're just smelly. It's like fancying Phil Collins or something. So, and, but, <laughs> Some people take it very, very far, and hurrah, we celebrate the magazine that is specially dedicated to them. <laughs> it's uh, called BLD, Boot Lover's Digest. <laughs> well, that's getting yeah. in my territory. <laughs> really? Boots. Oh. Not those. Not okay. <laughs> We'd open a big window on Bo Derek there. <laughs> oh, yes, I know all about this. Uh, <laughs> but the frightening thing is, see price, 10 Pounds! Yeah, for this magazine. Who, you know, and you have to think pictures of rough women in rubber wellies. But anyway, there you go. <laughs> so if you, so, but I like this, right? You go into a shop. You've got ten pounds. You go up to Boot Lovers Digest. Where do they sell it? In in sex shops, I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> just guessing. Um, <laughs> but then on here it says, "Are you a boot freak?" Right? You can test yourself in here. Now, presumably, spending £10 on this magazine is the answer to that question. <laughs> but no, 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 no. They went, they went into a two-page, two-page questionnaire, and it's just lines and lines and lines of questions. And it's things like, um, during missionary position intercourse, do you like to put your lover's booted legs up over your shoulders so you can see, feel, and smell them next to your face. <laughs> Julie? <laughs> Has she been there at all? <laughs> oh, my back's gone. <laughs> <laughs> but no, here, 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 you don't choose. It's not all about just spilling your sperm on them and things. It, it, <laughs> no, and it's, it can't... There's no stain devil. Don't do it in suede boots. It's hell. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> The thing about shoes, the thing about shoes, they do tell you so much about a person, don't they? So what we did is, during the break, during that, we asked the audience all to give us one of their shoes. Uh, rather pathetically, they agreed. <laughs> so uh, over here are some of the ones that caught our eye. Do come with me, Sophie and Bo. Well, let's go look at shoes. Uh, now, a nice range, a nice range of shoe. Um, <laughs> um, where to start? Actually, black is the new black, isn't it? Um, we like... we like this. <laughs> In fairness, that, that's the shoe that could only be worn by a gay serial killer, isn't it? That's... <laughs> you could only accessorise it with a plastic bag. Uh... <laughs> and a dirty jerkin. Uh... <laughs> Do you know, I don't want to meet who owns that shoe. Um... Ooh, German lesbian in. Love it. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're a bit butch, aren't they? <laughs> I love things like that. That's a German uh, lesbian's girlfriend. <laughs> 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 we'll put them together. <laughs> That's lovely. Uh, look at that. I'm sorry. Less of a shoe, more of a Cornish pasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. I used to own a pair of them, but no, I'm very ashamed. I know, I swear I did. But. <laughs> He's very good. Uh, be, be quiet, quiet in the old tunnel tonight. <laughs> Bit of an eco warrior in. Yeah, I, I can smell drying wool. Uh, <laughs> I have to say, these are the most dazzling of the shoes. These ones, I like these. Um, actually, Safety orange. They're quite new. Smell them. No mm -hmm. thanks. No. no the, the... <laughs> Who would do? That? Sorry. <laughs> Fine. Sort of accessorising your house, isn't it? <laughs> Rather naff bungalow. I'll wear these. <laughs> um, right, so I'm, I'm declaring these are the winning. These are the winning shoes. Now, I happen to know who owns this shoe, but I want you, you two, to, to tell me who in the audience owns this shoe. It's hard, isn't it? All right, you stay here in a sort of chatty, girly session. <gasps> OK, up I go. Now, it's someone in this row. It's someone in this row. OK, so, is this... Oh, actually, it probably is him, isn't it? Because it's very accessorised. <laughs> What's your name? Andy. Andy. Yes, it goes Andy. Right. So, is it Andy's? Is it Andy's? Is it... Excuse my bum, sorry. Uh, is it... What's your name? Paul. Paul. Is it Paul? It's so unlikely that it's Paul, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think Paul owns a single orange thing, do you? <laughs> no. Oh, now, is it you? No. Oh, no, actually, don't tell us. Sorry. <laughs> They're guessing. 
<laughs> it's really bad when I forget the rules of the game. <laughs> I'm like, what's your name? Louise. Louise? Is it Louise? Who would be foolish enough to accessorise leather with that? No. <laughs> what do you reckon? Who do you think it is? Orange, orange, orange shoe. It's Louise. Louise. Sophie? Oh, I don't know. Um... Could, could, could you try and guess? <laughs> I could. Homes to go to, King of the Hill starting soon. <laughs> can I copy both? You can copy both if you want to. Yeah. You're going with Louise? Yes. On Cannelly? They're right! It is Louise! Take it out! <laughs> well done! Oh, look, stand on your chair. Stand on your chair. No, 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 look! You see? It is! It is because underneath leather is sportswear. <laughs> yeah, she's very, very clever. Another thing is rather exciting. There's a wonderful prize. A wonderful prize. Your winning shoe is getting an all-expenses-paid trip to the Light Fantastic. Yes, your other shoe now is going to be weeping, weeping with angry <laughs> jealousy as it watches now as Lilia and Darren, British <laughs> national amateur Latin American dance champions, <laughs> use it for the same!